Hi, I'm Steph. Welcome to my channel. I review everything. And today I'm going to talk to you about Chrysalis by Lincoln Child. But before I do that, if you're new here, so am I. So thanks for checking out my channel. Give me a like, a subscribe, a comment, you know, all that YouTube stuff. And I appreciate your support. So I'm a huge fan of Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child's Pendergast books. You can't see them, but they're on the top shelf here. I own all of them. And um, I also really enjoy their Nora Kelly series, which is a little bit newer. And I've enjoyed most of their solo projects, but this new book by Lincoln Child, Chrysalis, is a surprising exception to that. I don't know exactly what it was about this book, but I was just kind of bored as I listened to it. Um, it, it's only 10 hours long and I was kind of glad that it wasn't any longer, which is really disappointing because I always look forward to their books coming out. Um, so this is the sixth book in the Jeremy Logan series. He, Jeremy Logan is an enigmologist. He's a character who has encountered borderline supernatural stuff in his first five books. And I guess the books could be categorized as like techno thrillers. Um, and he has gone to such various settings as the Arctic, an Egyptian tomb, an oil platform in the Atlantic, an enormous estate in Rhode Island, and a wilderness retreat in the Adirondacks. And most of those first books have been solid thrillers. Maybe not the best books in the world, but they were enjoyable and fast-paced enough to keep you intrigued. But Chrysalis just didn't quite live up to that legacy for me. Um, it's easily the weakest in the series, in my opinion. So in this book, everyone in the world um, is using this new technology that's similar to Alexa or Siri um, that's integrated into like these glasses that, that they wear or earpieces that they wear. Um, and it's able to do a lot more, obviously, than Alexa or Siri could do. Uh, and at first it seems like the story is going to be just about AI going rogue, corrupting the world, causing deaths. And that's okay, but it's a little bit of a tired premise, honestly. Um, I don't want to spoil too many things if you are interested in reading this, uh, but I might give away a few details here. So I'll, I'll keep the ending a secret if you want to read it and see what happens for yourself. So this is the description of the book. It says, like millions of people around the world, Jeremy Logan famed enigmologist or investigator of unexplained things has grown to rely on his incredible new tech device made by chrysalis the global multi-billion dollar tech company the small optical device connects people in a stunning new way tapping into virtual reality for the first time on a wide scale and yet when logan is summoned by chrysalis to investigate a disturbing anomaly in the massive new product rollout Logan is shocked to see the true scope of the massive company. He quickly realizes that something in Chrysalis's technology is very wrong and could be potentially devastating. The question is what and where is the danger coming from? In Lincoln Child's wildly inventive new novel, high tech comes to life amidst, uh, alongside the myriad dangers it poses, making for one of Child's most infectious entertaining, entertaining thrillers to date. So, and I know some people did enjoy this book, and that's fine. If you liked it, that's great. Um, I've read reviews by other readers who talk about how the techno babble is a bit confusing and made the book a little bit difficult to understand. Um, and I agree to a point. There's a lot of medical and technical jargon and chatter in the book. Um, overall, I feel like I followed the story fine. It was just kind of boring. Um... which is really hard to say about a Lincoln Child book. So Logan is called into Chrysalis after a couple of board members die and the company receives this threatening encrypted email saying that there will be more deaths. Um, what I don't understand really is why Logan was the man for this job. He usually deals with things that are like potentially supernatural in nature and his expertise is put to good use solving those problems. But this time around, it's a bunch of technological nonsense, and it doesn't seem like it was really tailored to Logan's special talents. Um, well, it is somewhat creative. The story, like I said, is a little bit tired. It's kind of weird to read a story um, that I feel like I've heard elsewhere. The threat of AI becoming sentient or causing deaths isn't especially new. Um, and sadly, this book doesn't really do anything exciting with it. 
Even at the climax of the book, when doom was impending, I just didn't feel on the edge of my seat or even all that interested in knowing, in like finding out how it was going to be resolved. And um, I'd like to see Lincoln Child continue the series, of course, and I just don't think this was the best entry in the series. Um, one problem with listening to a less than compelling audiobook is that I get distracted. So there were sections of this book that I kind of tuned out. And that's telling. I listen to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts, and I'm pretty good at paying attention. Even if the story is a slow burn, um, I never would have thought I'd rate a Lincoln Child book so low. <laughs> but like I gotta say, it's just not that great of a book, which is unfortunate. Again, though, if you liked it, that's fine. If you want to comment and tell me what you thought of it and tell me why you liked it better than I did, that's great. Um, I do hope that Jeremy Logan's next adventure will be kind of more up to the previous installments. One of the strengths of Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child's writing is that kind of supernatural adventure thriller story where sometimes it's there is a scientific explanation, but sometimes it's still a little supernatural in nature. And I really like that about their books. So I hope to see more of Jeremy Logan in the future. And I hope that the next book is like amazing. That would be great to see him kind of return to form. So anyway, thanks for your support, um, liking, subscribing and all that good stuff. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.